Welcome back. It's time to pull your Halloween decorations out of the attic and add a couple of new ones to your collection. Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is here to show us a couple Halloween crafts. This is such a fun time of year to get the house decorated and oh, you've got yeah. some really neat ideas. Yeah, we're going to have a series for the next couple weeks. We're going to have a lot of Halloween crafts. Um, this week we're going to do a couple. The first one we're going to do is just ghosts. Okay. Which these are, um, what we're trying to do is, you, you've probably seen people making these things that are and kind of, hang you can hang from a tree or whatever and they kind of blow in the wind yeah. but it adds a whole element of kind of hauntedness here when you have them where they're freestanding mm -hmm. so in order to get them to be starched like that we're going to just use a mix of glue water just I use Elmer's glue 50-50 yep. mix adding water so what and I'm using just my paint as my little stand here because you need something to work to on put it on yep and then what you're going to do here if you want to take that yep start from ball wrap that up in some uh, just, or whatever. yeah yeah it's this is just a uh, plastic wrap Got it. From okay. the kitchen. Okay. And then what you're going to do is just stand this on top here. Got it. And, you know, it might fall off. And don't worry if That's it does. That's okay. Cause we're okay. Fine. And then we're going to have, we have one square of cheesecloth. And you have yep. this right by you. Yes, I see. And below that is just cotton muslin. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And if you want to just put that together mm -hmm. and just put that right Oh, I over. want the cheesecloth on top. Yep. Okay. okay. And you're going to hold this on. And you can use this foam brush right here. Okay. And that is our glue mix. And what we're going to be doing is just, you just soak this. And I have some plastic wrap down on the, on the surface here. So my yep. brush is smaller. That's the best way to do this is use, because you're going to be going a lot faster here. Got it. Um, and you just soak this. And then I let these sit overnight. You could use Mod Podge for this too, right? You could. Um, I haven't tried, as far as the texture goes, it would probably be thick enough. Yeah. Um, pretty much anything you can kind of, you know, dilute a little bit with water. Yes. Because you do want them to be, um, you don't want them to crack, you know. Yes. <laughs> so, but, Can't um, have that. Yeah, so you just keep going. And I, I kind of got this one saturated here. Okay. So you can see it starts to... You know, and you can kind of shape it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you help it along a little bit. Yeah, and so you okay. let that you let that dry. And then they start to look like this after they dry. I added Cute. just a Sharpie, a couple eyes. You can also glue on buttons if you wanted. Yep. And so what you do is you pull this off, and then you take that styrofoam ball right out. Yep. And you can either hang these from the tree, so or they, they stand up. So you kind of decide how you want to do that. Make your Halloween You can table. do it with something this big, too. Oh wow! You know, just put fun. it. You'd have to just put it on a vase or something and work with it and yes. let that go. But it'll okay. stand on now, its own. You pull that. Now base that out. we've got our hands all all glued up. Here. Yep. Um, this is uh, starting Monday. is a 13-day countdown to Halloween. So what you can do with your kids is starting on the 19th, you can um, just start. Put, you can put little treats in here, and this is just a clipboard. Yes. So I guess on the office, painted store. black. Yep. Yeah. Just painted that, and then I, I just painted clothespins. And um, covered the top part here just with a, a little, little piece of felt that looks like a witch's hat. These are those foam stickers mm -hmm. that you get from the craft store that yep. you can just stick right on. So mm -hmm. you don't have to do any kind of fancy applique if you don't want to. Yep. And then what I always try to do is come up with little treats that are different than candy. So, yes. um, which can be, you know, kind of a drag depending on how, uh, <laughs> how, how agreeable your child is. Like these are little tiny erasers in here. You can get them in this big. Yeah. You've got spider rings. Spider rings, balloons. no. And you just, you just kind of put it in there and then each day they your, get to open your child gets to open it up and I recommend hanging this a little higher than like a little just out of reach. Yes, <laughs> so or they'll be digging all, through. All gone the same day. But that's just an easy way to count down the days to Halloween. It is adorable and I love a 13 day countdown. That's just right, perfect. Right, because you have to have it be spooky. You could do the whole month, but you know. Now, your, your column Sunday. The yeah, Grand Rapids Press. Sherry Richardson is mm. my um, subject this week and she makes really cool these whimsical Halloween decorations and if you can see in that photo she uses button eyes so there's Cute. a Coraline uh, influence there mm -hmm. and um, th which is really popular to be crafting with that and and the cool thing about her work is it looks like she's using different colored fabrics but she's actually painting her finished pieces oh nice so she's using muslin too so it's kind of it will expand your world and show you the other possibilities if you have just plain fabric all right it's in the Grand Rapids Press on Sunday you can find more information on our website wzzm13.com click on take five links Go check out craftsanity.com. You'll be blown away. When we come back, we're going to keep you in the Halloween spirit with a look at some decorative ways to show off your pumpkins. Stay with us, please.